It's time to eat McDonald's for 24 hours. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And as you can guess from the title below, today is going to be another food challenge day. So there is this challenge where you eat only fast food from a certain place for 24 hours. And when I saw that people were doing it, I had to do it. I mean, come on. And the challenge looked fun and interesting. And so today I'm gonna be doing a 24 hour McDonald's only challenge. So which means breakfast, lunch, dinner, and everything in between that I'll be having today is going to be from McDonald's. I don't know if that's a good idea since I'm trying to watch what I eat and McDonald's food is not that light on the calories. And also it sounds pretty easy like having food from McDonald's for 24 hours but I, I guess at the end of the challenge we'll know how it goes. You can have anything, like literally anything outside McDonald's. Yeah, I can't have anything outside of McDonald's. Anything. Not even water. Night. Right. And So let's hope this challenge goes well and that I'm able to complete the challenge properly. So let's start our day of McDonald's. When you wake up, you gotta go breakfast. Oh. You gotta get breakfast. So it's 9.55 and we're going for some breakfast. And I'm still sleepy. I have my breakfast items right here and I got egg and cheese McMuffin, hash brown and a coffee. I love McDonald's and hash brown because look at it, it's so cute. So cute, so cute. Let's start with the basic. Let's have our cheese and egg McMuffin. I love their egg, just look at that. I wish it had some sauce. It tastes good though. I like the cheese. Should I be having cheese for breakfast? So early. So much cheese. Let's try the hash brown. Mm. Fried potatoes. Just So that was a good start to the challenge with a light breakfast and we're gonna come back here for lunch and dinner. So let's see what we can do for lunch. Nuggets. Not right. No. Okay. Sweet curry. Sweet curry. Sweet curry. Sweet curry. 5.39 and we're having a late lunch because I just got back from work and this is why I look so exhausted. And I'm really hungry because I haven't had anything after my breakfast from McDonald's because I'm not allowed to have anything else. I've been good, I promise. So, for our lunch, we have apple pie, uh, chi chicken nuggets, 
and a mayo chicken burger. We also have a sweet curry dip for our nuggets. And I actually, I actually plan to have their wraps. They have a lot of different grilled chicken wraps and different flavors, but due to the pandemic, they have been a reduced menu, and so I couldn't have my wrap. This is why I opted for the chicken mayo burger. And oh, and the Coke, because you need Coke. Let's start with the burger. Smoother than my skin. Smaller than my face. When I chose the savor menu, this just cost me a pound. Steal. And I have and I actually did a comparison between the burgers from McDonald's and burgers from Burger King. And if you guys wanna watch that, the link is right up here. In that video, I try a lot of burgers from both the places, so if you like watching me eat burgers, you will enjoy that. So when we last had the chicken meal burger, if you see the video, if you watch the video where I compared the burgers, the meal was not evenly spread out, now it is. That just goes to show everyone has a bad day. I'm just happy to eat something after such a long time, after breakfast. But since I'm having lunch so late, I'm kind of worried about my dinner. Super popular chicken McNuggets. Ooh, ooh. This is some good ass nugget. And this uh, sweet curry dip, it's, you can only find this in the UK. It's exclusive here. I never had it and I'm kind of skeptic. It smells weird. It actually just smells like spices. <laughs> well, it's sweet curry. Not for me. I don't like sweet dips, so you might like it. Do you like it? Do you like the dip? It's pretty good. I like it. It's my cup of tea. It's time for some apple pie. I'm not a really big fan of apple desserts, just personally. I don't know why, I think I have a misconception in my head or something. So, ooh. Ooh, cinnamony, another thing I don't like. <laughs> I know, I know, a lot of people love cinnamons and apple desserts and the smell of cinnamon is just blissful to some people I think I'm the odd one out I don't like cinnamon at all the person in front of me loves cinnamon and anything apple desserty or any fruit desserts right okay this isn't really bad I don't actually mind it I actually like it I wish it didn't smell like I wish cinnamon had no smell because the smell really bothers me more than the taste because it tastes really good mm. it also has a bit of tanginess enjoying this surprise so that was a very satisfying lunch and I was really hungry but I am already getting tired of McDonald's because I'm honestly not a very big McDonald's fan as it is. And don't mind me, sometimes I do crave McDonald's, but not a big fan. I don't come here regularly. But yeah, the challenge is almost coming to an end. Let's see what we can have for dinner. Uh... It's almost eight, which means it's dinner time and I'm already sick and tired of McDonald's. To make myself feel better, I dressed up. And by dressed up, I mean I wore a hat.
So we are at McDonald's for the third time today. They must be sick of seeing us. What are you gonna have for dinner? No, I don't feel like having anything from here anymore. Beef cabana chicken, which one should I have? No a beef burger. I feel like you should have a double cheeseburger. That seems that seems nice. Double cheese or quarter pounder with cheese. That's too much. Eh? So, let me take a plain cheeseburger. Happy meal. Kiki no, no. happy meal. Happy meal toy, happy meal book. Happy meal <laughs> <Are> you <laughs> seriously gonna go for a happy meal? Let's stick with the small fries. Oh juice. Orange juice. No, or water. I'll just take it. So you guys help me pick the dessert and Maltesers, McFlurry one. So we're taking the Mac, uh, plain cheeseburger, Happy Meal, Maltesers, McFlurry, and a small Coke. Thank you. Since I wasn't hungry and wasn't feeling McDonald's anymore, I picked the smallest thing I could find. Happy meal! Must be nice being a kid. Look at how cute the packet is. And I also chose a toy, so let's see what I... Guess who? It's a game board. And I have some small fries and a plain cheeseburger. Watch her. I took the Coke separately. This was not part of the Happy Meal because kids shouldn't have soda. And by popular vote, I chose the Maltesers McFlurry. Just looks like they put Malteser crunchies on top of vanilla ice cream. But let's start with the McFlurry. The size is perfect for how I'm feeling because I'm not, I don't want to have any more McDonald's. I forgot to ask for sauce. You can't blame me, I've been there too many times to remember things. So this has like Maltesers crunches on top of vanilla ice cream. Maybe it would have been better if they put some chocolate sauce, I don't know. It's a good dessert. Which one is your favorite, Oreo or the... Maltesers. Let's unpack the toy. You're more excited about this than the food. Yep. Do you even know how to cook this? No, one? of course not. Look at the instructions. You have two pairs, each of sets of cards, one red, one yellow. Pick one card, place it in the single slot at the front of your matching color base. This is gonna take a while, folks. Hang on. Kill the China, it's too complicated. <laughs> So that was it for today's challenge. I'm glad I could do the challenge. If you guys want to see more challenges like these, do comment down below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.